Are you worried about a housing market crash? It's a frightening feeling if you're about to buy or sell a home and you don't know if you're facing a housing market crisis. I know how much extra stress these uncertain times can add to an already complicated process. Well, whether good or bad news, information can always help reduce stress and allow you to make decisions that are best for you and your family. Let me introduce myself, I'm Steve Huda, a real estate sales professional working for Century 21 Amber. Century 21 is the most respected brand in the industry, and Century 21 Amber is the number one Century 21 office here in the South Bay. Every year we help hundreds of buyers and sellers just like you successfully reach their real estate goals. Now many of the fears we have today come from the housing market trouble in 2006, 2008, and many are afraid it's going to happen again. So let's compare the 2006, 2008 to the current situation so you can decide for yourself if this is the right time for you to buy or sell a home. Now one of the things we can look at when predicting a market crash or bubble burst is how unrealistically did an asset appreciate against market norms? If an item is way overvalued, it must eventually correct itself in the market. In the years leading up to the top of the market in 2006, there was a much higher than normal appreciation rate of homes. Compared to the current situation, homes have appreciated a much more normal rate. This rapid appreciation was mainly driven by mortgage availability. Money was cheap and extremely easy to acquire. Mortgage standards were very low and lenders were loaning money to borrowers who could not afford to repay their loans. Now today, money's still cheap with very low interest rates. However, we have much stricter lending policies, which limits the risk of the market rising and falling unrealistically. Also, huge factors in 2006, 2008 was too much inventory. Now, when supply is higher than demand, prices drop. As can be seen, we had an oversupply and the buyers controlled the market. And what do buyers want? They want lower prices. And as can be seen, we don't have that problem today. In fact, we have a housing shortage and there's not enough homes to meet the demand. Another big difference in how homeowners in 2006 used that lax lending policy to pull the equity out of their homes in order to finance their lifestyle. Today, homeowners are treating the equity in their homes much more cautiously. Now, as we can see, Almost four times as much cash out equity is pulled out before the last crash versus today. And it's that equity that lends stability to the housing market. Now in 2006, 2008, homeowners walked away easily because their homes had no value. They had already pulled it all out. Whereas today, homeowners are much less likely to walk away with much more value still in their homes. In fact, 53.8% of all homes have at least 50% equity with 37% of all homes own free and clear. Now, even looking at these factors, there's still a lot of variables. Each segment of the market's a little different, from fixer-uppers to starters to move-up homes to luxury properties. Well, it's because of inventory levels, finance options, demand, and other factors in each of those segments. Now, if you want to find out more information on the market segment you're looking at, contact me so I can help. Now, stay safe and take care of each other. Bye for now.